this video is to show you how to get that happy little green light when it comes to making an SEO friendly post to your piggyback blog. So we're going to start off by creating a new piggyback blog post. Now I'm going to give this post a title and I'm going to be writing about Baldwin Park. So um, I'm going to obviously include Baldwin Park in the title. And homes for sale is another key buzzword that most real estate agents will be using inside of their blog posts or pages. So we're going to do a time lapse. And my blog post is written. As you'll notice, I'm nearing and hitting at least 300 uh, words on this blog post. I gathered some knowledge from um, the community page that Baldwin Park runs as well as I looked up a couple of key areas within Baldwin Park so that I covered everything within the area. Alright, so if we go down and we can see this area is called WordPress SEO by Yoast. We can see that there's a focus keyword area and of course we're gonna put Baldwin Park in here. Um, as you saw that there's some suggestions that pop up in that area and you can see uh, that your original blog post title comes from the title that you put originally at the top of the post page. And you can see how um, this area will show you yes or no that you're hitting um, your focus keyword in those areas or not. So I'm going to create a new SEO title and I'm going to call it Baldwin Park, Florida Homes for Sale. Something that's going to be a little bit more user friendly when it comes to searching in uh, search engines. And I'm going to go ahead and write a meta description that includes these keywords as well. But it's going to be something that's easier for people to read about this blog post rather than just the first couple of sentences or words that are included in that blog post. Now you'll also notice that we're only getting uh, one no in our area. It says for paid URL. This is because I have not saved the draft yet. Um, and once I save the draft, it's going to take the URL that's at the top of the screen, this permalink URL here. So now the title that we originally gave it is part of the URL. So all these pieces are now satisfied and we're going to have a green light for our SEO. You can see in my content, I have used our keyword, which is ball one part six times in the content. Now you don't have to use it that often, but it's great too, because it's um, gonna be judged when it comes to this SEO area. But if you're talking about one specific area, it's easy to keep using that keyword. Now you'll notice if you click on page analysis, you're gonna see that there are a couple of things that it thinks I could hit on like adding uh, images or having outbound links, um, having alt tags in the images that I have, um, and um, a lot of different things like that. But you'll see that a lot of this is green because of the content that I've already written and that I have satisfied all the things that were on the general tab of this SEO Yoast plugin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go satisfy some more of these um, suggestions by adding a picture and we're going to add into the alt text we're going to use our keyword in here Baldwin Park and we're going to go ahead and add in you know homes and I'm going to have it left aligned and uh, have it a medium size so now we have an image and we have the alt text is on that image and it's including in our our focus keyword so um, now we should add in a link to a um, outbound source so that they are then aware of our, our blog post as well. So um, I included a little snippet about um, a dog park that is located inside of Baldwin Park. And I'm gonna link to um, this, this website that reviews that dog park. And I'm gonna find where I mentioned this dog park in the content, highlight it, and then go up to the little chain link paste in my URL and then make sure it opens in a new window so that it doesn't take my reader away from the blog post that they're currently looking at. And just to you know, add a little extra flair, I'm going to make it to where the reader can also go to the Baldwin Park website and um, you know, check out more information there. So I'm just going to pick somewhere where I put Baldwin Park and hyperlink it the same way. 
and it's already checked for us to open another window and that's awesome we're good to go there and one of the last things that we had in here was that we needed another heading somewhere inside of the type a heading um, is information that's important or um, if you've got your information divided up into different sections it's great to use as divider text to show what you're going to be discussing in the next area um, there's a little snippet in here that I grabbed that I really like how it's worded so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this um, a more important piece of the blog post by making it a header um, by doing that I highlight it and then I'm going to click heading 2 so it doesn't show up as big as our title does for the page but it will uh, show up a little bit smaller but it'll still be bolded in comparison to the rest of the text that is considered to be paragraph instead of header so we see that we have a lot of this already covered and the last thing would be that the page title um, could use a little bit more text in it so let's go ahead and add a little bit more now it could be talking about two different areas when it comes to page title at this point because we have added in an SEO title and a title for the actual blog post for whenever you visit it from the from a search engine um, I'm pretty sure it's asking for the SEO title so what we're gonna do now that we have that new title that we just wrote and I really like it so we're going to copy it and we're going to paste it into the SEO title as well because sometimes your SEO title is just as good as your title that you're already using for your blog post um, and sometimes you'll find this a little bit too long. So there's words like with that search engines aren't going to care about anyways. So I took that out and we're good on that now. And if we um, save the draft again, we'll be able to see what um, the SEO Yoast plugin has to tell us now and as far as I'm concerned this is awesome I have a little bit of a hard time getting a green light on my writing I'm not you know a English major or a journalism major so uh, I think that you know getting a, a, an orange light there is pretty good for me so we're gonna go ahead and publish this post and click the post and there we go we have an SEO greenlit an overly SEO rich uh, blog post page um, so now we're good to go uh, and that's how you go about getting the green light to go green and if you look inside of your all posts tab you can see all the stuff that you've changed like your focus keyword your SEO title your meta description and you can see which posts you have that green light on straight from your all post area and that's how you do it